big fella. Yup. If one more label try to stop me, it's gonna be some dreadhead niggas in your lobby. Huh, huh. What's going on guys, do laugh the Wayne Games here and I just wanted to get this vlog out. Uh, it is September 10th, uh, it's 3 a.m. September 10th, uh, the day of the powerlifting meet, my first USAPL powerlifting meet. And um, yeah, I just wanted to fill you guys in on what's been going on. Um, so last night I cut water at 6 p.m. Um, and all I had was candy seed throughout the whole day and I really didn't eat anything much after like 7 p.m. Um, all I had was candy. I didn't eat anything, any candy after 7 p.m. Then, uh, knocked out early, uh, at 10 o'clock, and then I woke up at 1.30ish. And, uh, when I, when I fell asleep at 10, I was still around 1.49. Um, and then I went to sleep and woke up at 1.30 at, uh, 1.48ish, around there. And so I contacted my coach because I got a little nervous, you know. Um, because I have to make weight. I already bought my tickets to Atlanta, so I have to make this 145.6 class. And you know, we got we have uh, about what, uh, three, three, three and a half pounds to cut. And so, uh, you know, I took a piss, and uh, now and then I weighed myself again. I'm like 147.2, something like that. And um, yeah, so. I contacted my coach to make sure everything was okay. He said maybe I have to do cardio, but um, yeah, that'll be last resort. So what I figured I'd do before I go back to sleep again was, um, you know, get in full sweats and kind of just sweat it out. And um, I turn, I cranked up the the heat in my room, and it's like a sauna in here. So. Um, yeah, I'm trying to go to sleep. I'm really uncomfortable. I haven't like I, I've been up since 1:30, and I haven't been asleep since just because I'm just very uncomfortable. Like I, I hate sweating in my my bed. It's nasty to me. But like yeah, I gotta make weight. So if anything, I'm just gonna stay up the whole night till uh, we we leave. Uh, we All right, it is 4 a.m. I couldn't sleep, man. So like. I'm 147 still. I gotta cut two pounds by seven o'clock. It's four, almost 4:30. So I'm gonna do like an hour of cardio, see where that gets me, and then um, I'm gonna head home, prepare some meals, all that, prepare my bag and all that, and then I gotta head out to drive to Squats and Science. If this doesn't work, then when I get to Squats and Science, I'm just gonna fucking go full on sweats. Do some burpees or something. If they have, oh, they, I think they have a bike there. I remember seeing. So I'm gonna jump on that thing and I'm just gonna fucking pound away. I'm almost there. Two more pounds. I think I'm good. I think I'll be good. So I'm a little tired now, but gotta do what you gotta do. All right. So I couldn't sleep, man. So I decided. I, I mean, I was up since 1:30. It's like 4:30 right now. Yeah, at 4 o'clock I decided I'm just gonna get my ass up and get, go to the gym, do some cardio. I'm still 147, so I got two more pounds to cut. So I'm gonna do uh, walking on the treadmill, 15 incline, three and a half speed, probably for an hour, see where it gets me. And then um, head home, you know, I gotta prep these meals and shit. So, um, yeah, never doing this again, man. Stick to your diet, people. Fuck water cuts. Shit. Alright, it is like 5.30 a.m. Leaving the gym. Alright, Darian. Leaving the gym. Oh, I gotta get home. Prep my bag and all that. Prep some meals for today. For after weigh-ins. And then, uh, yeah, head to Squats and Signs. See if I can weigh in. So just now I did, um, I did, uh, an hour of walking cardio on the treadmill. Um, I did 15 incline, three and a half speed for an hour. And I burned about 760 calories. So hopefully we're, I'm gonna go home and check my weight. And if that's not enough, when I get to squats and science, I'm just gonna use the bike over there and do something. 
active and uh, just try to cut off these last two pounds. We'll see. 146.6. Okay, it is, what time is it? 6.30. Too early. And we are en route to um, Squats and Signs and I did not brush my teeth. <laughs> I didn't brush my teeth, I'm dirty, fuck it. I've been up since 1.30. I slept at 10, been up since 1.30. Did cardio, now I'm here. I weighed in before he left at 145.8, so I'm close. So I'm all fully sweat, sweat suit, and uh, I'm turning up the heat on the way to, to uh, Squats and Science. We got an hour drive, so we gonna do it. Hey, you ready? First powerlifting meet, second powerlifting meet. Oh wait, no, third, fourth. Damn, you're a seasoned veteran right now. And this yeah. is your first one. For me? <laughs> okay, we just got to squats and science. About to weigh in right now. We here. Ah. Yeah. It's like 6.30. Let's see. I made weight by 0.1 pounds. 65.9. Huh? Oh yeah, one ki point 0.1 kilo. Forgot we're in kilos. Hey, we got the squad here. With the squad. Hungry. Now I'm about to hydrate and go eat and then get ready for, to lift at 9 o'clock. So, where's Steph? Finished our meeting. Got to warm up. Warming up. Squad. First time, right? First knee. You ready? You ready? <laughs> Stabilize. Yep. Nice. Chest up. Up. There you go. Squat. Sink it. Oh. Rack. Look better. No. Good. You can go in. You can go in. You can go in. Is your way, Wayne? Just finished squats, 
get three of three. I think, what did I do? One, eight, I don't know, 385 or 390. 390, first attempt, second attempt, 400, and then a 412 for the third attempt. So, did well, feel good. Going into bench now. Warming up. finished bench uh, opened with 225 got that I, I got one red light for my heels coming up and then I hit a second attempt at uh, 231 and pounds by the way and um, uh, both my heels went up apparently and then um, hit a third attempt <laughs> hit a third attempt of uh, 241 and then uh, just really focused on keeping my heels down and then yeah three red three white lights so Everything's going good. Uh, well, I'm one of my five for six right now. So hopefully go in eight for nine. Six for six. Six for six. Damn. All right, I got an interview later. later. Interview. Let's go, Steph. Let's go. Game time. Yep, lock out those knees. There you go. Let's go, Wayne. Easy way. That's easy. 
Here, bro. We are out here. Look, Christy. All these. Christy. This food. It's my post meat. Um, I don't even know what to call this. Like a celebration dinner. Fucking kung fu tea, man. Kung fu. Kung fu tea. Hey, it's popping here. It's lit. We are on um, post meat food adventures right now. About a, we went to Hot Pot in Chinatown, somewhere in Chinatown. And now we are going to Rice to Riches. We made it. Rice to Riches, we're here. Oh, baby. So much selection. Oh my god. Look at all this. Can I try the Oreo? Damn. Rice pudding. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. I don't know which flavor to pick. They have so many flavors right now. So this place is crazy. Much. To go. Oreo Gasm. French toast and cheesecake. Uh, cheesecake. Yeah, we got some spoon. What's going on, guys? So, the dual athlete back, uh, Wayne Gaines back. And uh, I just wanted to get this vlog out because uh, it is the day after the, the, the USAPL powerlifting meet, Sunday, um, September 11th. Uh, never forget, by the way. And um, yeah, so uh, pretty much after my bench, bench, um, like I just wasn't feeling good, so <laughs> I didn't want to vlog. I didn't. I, I wanted to make sure I got film of myself lifting. Um, I didn't vlog. I didn't like like say anything. So I just want to let you guys know what happened. Um, so I went three for three on deadlifts. Everything went well. Uh, although you know deadlift attempts were rushed. I mean not not attempts, but like just warming up was rushed. Um, uh, yeah, I was able to pull. I wasn't really worried. Um, I think the biggest thing was just kind of uh that i wasn't feeling good at all so like i don't know if you guys ever you know like i was starving that and my mind was just like focused on like oh come on we gotta eat we gotta eat that like i didn't even want to lift anymore um so it just kind of affected like the way i lifted um in terms of like form form really broke down i, I like you'll see you see in the video You'll see, but um, usually I let my upper back round so that way, because uh, my 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 weak point is off the ground. So I feel like if I if I could keep my 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 lumbar spine in a neutral more neutral position and kind of uh, let my upper back um, go a little bit, uh, it'll get me off the ground quicker. Because my lockout is is once I get off the ground, I know it's going. You know, it's it's locking out. Just gotta get off the ground, and so. I like to really let go of my upper back and, and the problem with that is that if you know if I don't really if I really don't brace hard and uh, make sure my lumbar spine is neutral uh, it, it that will go too and it just started like not that the weight I mean it was heavy but like I don't know just just uh, I think it just affected the way I lifted and you'll see in the video or you saw in the video um, that clips so yeah, I just wasn't really happy with uh, how I deadlifted. Everything went out fast though, but it just wasn't didn't look at, like uh, how I wanted it to look. Um, but yeah, I went three for three. Uh, I, I in my first attempt, I hit uh, 370 and then 380, three, uh, and I did both of them beltless just because uh, I want to see what I could do with, um, you know, with no belt. Um, and then uh, a third attempt was five, five around 500. So um, yeah pretty fun um so the results of the day were were uh in a stack class a 66 kilogram class of just me <laughs> i got the gold it's pretty cool i i really like this even though like i already knew going into the 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 meet uh, that i was the only 66 kilogram lifter there uh it was just cool um to, to have it now but uh like I already knew that it was this kind of like a participation award, but it's cool to have like a. I always saw these things on like 
Instagram and like YouTube people winning like medals. I'm like, oh, this thing is corny, but actually having one, it's pretty cool. Like it's 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 nice. It's it's actually like a medallion. Like it's it's not flimsy. I thought it was like a plastic, you know, a uh, uh, um, plastic like a uh, metal, but uh, it's actually pretty nice. It's legit. So I'm happy about that. I, w I definitely want to compete in another USAPL powerlifting meet where I could actually get one, where I'm not doing like you know participating. I'm actually like placing against other people competing because i am a competitor right and uh yeah dude definitely want to get one another one or a few so i'll be doing that in the future or trying to do that in the future and um yeah so also um uh there's this thing called uh, the the you know the overall there's another award called the overall uh best overall male lifter and uh the the way to get that is who how do you get that? Oh, the Wilk score. So whoever has the highest Wilk score will get the best uh, overall male lifter of the day uh, out of all the males, right? So there is about maybe around, I, I want to say like 30 male lifters. Um, most of them were all bigger than me. Obviously all bigger than me. I'm the only one in the, the lightest weight class there was, right? So um, yeah, so to, to determine the, the high, uh, what your Wilk score is, it's uh, based off of your raw total and your body weight. So my my raw total last night uh, was or yesterday was eleven fifty six or something at a uh, sixty five point six uh, or sixty five point nine kilograms. So it's around like one forty five ish around there. Um, uh, yeah. So my Wilk score it was a uh, four twelve. And then I, I, pretty cool, and I ended up getting this, and this made me pretty happy because, um, like, I wasn't expect like, going into the meet, um, just wasn't expecting, like, anything else, uh, like, uh, anything else, like, I just was expecting, like, the gold because I was the only one in my weight class, like, a participation award, and I wasn't expecting to win the best male overall lifter, so it was pretty cool, or best overall male lifter, um, so it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool plaque to have. Um, I'm I'm happy about it. But yeah. So yeah, that was the results. Um, and also, it was pretty cool that they they drug tested me. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Like my first USAPL powerlifting me, and they they uh, decided to drug test me. I mean, I I don't know. But uh, I guess they gotta drug test someone, right? And um, if 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 it's someone, then it gotta be like. Yeah, whatever. But uh, that, I thought that was pretty cool. It just uh, kind of says something, right? That uh, it's it's cool to know that you know when we planned to go into this meet, we sandbag. We were planning to sandbag and just really qualify for our nationals. And um, uh, I was just expecting like a participation award, pretty much, because you know I was the only one in my weight class. And um, to get the male, best male overall lifter. Uh, the best overall male lifter award uh, of the day is pretty cool knowing that I left a lot of uh, weight on the platform. So, um, yeah, that was the results. And then after post meet, we went out to eat and all that. Um, uh, went, went out with my friends uh, from the meet and uh, celebrated and all that. So it was pretty cool. Went to a hot pot buffet, uh, hot pot, all you can eat hot pot in um, somewhere in Chinatown. And then got some bubble tea in Chinatown. And then we went to Rice to Riches. You'll see in the vlog. So, yeah. Just wanted to get this out. Be sure to uh, follow my journey, guys. Because the next goal is Raw Nationals. And this is, like, the big goal um, since we I linked up with 3DMJ. It's like, yo, I want to qualify for Raw Nationals and go do it. Um, and had uh, the original plan was to do it at the 74 kilogram class and just really not compete. But... Since I was cutting down for these bodybuilding shows, I was like, fuck it, why not? Like, I'm already around, like, I was already going to be on stage at around 145, so let's, 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 let's grind and let's, let's cut down for it. So, I'm um, definitely going to be at the 66 kilogram class for this Raw Nationals in uh, a month. Raw Nationals uh, is from August, um, not August, October 12 to 16. So, I'll be there, guys. Um, follow the journey, subscribe to my channel, and, um, yeah, let's keep inspiring each other. Um, if you have anything to say, comment down below, like the video, share it, and all that. Tune in. Do laughy. Signing out.